It's Top Tip Tuesday time, Bob here from Insidium and in this video we're going to be using Nexus Colour to animate the colour of particles, not to actually provide them with the finished colour for render but to generate a custom opacity map. So let's get started. In our scene we have got this nice swirly particle animation, our emitter is in circle mode, we've got a cone angle of 90 and we're emitting from the ring only and that gives us this flat emission uh, firing out from our circle emitter and then if we have a look in our next turbulence we're in Voronoi's mode which gives us these really nice swirls with these settings. Let's just go to our emitter emission tab, we're in rate mode, got a lifespan of 90 birth rate of 2000 per frame, speed of 100 with a tiny bit of variation, radius of 3. And that is giving us this cool look. And if we go to our redshift render view and just hit render, you can see even at this kind of draft level of particles, you can see this additive effect taking place. The problem we have got here is we have got a very defined circular emission point. The rest of the animation is really fluid and organic but we've got this obvious shape here. So what we're going to use is particle colour to drive the opacity of our particles and we're going to use that to kind of mask out this very obvious emission point. So let's go to our Insidium X Particles Nexus and we're going to bring in an NX colour modifier. The first thing we're going to do is get a black and white noise pattern on these particles. So let's go to our add layer and we want a gradient by parameter because we want to map a gradient but we want it to be black and white. So let's just get rid of these and we'll make this one black. So there we've got our black to white gradient and we're going to map this not to the particle age but we want to use a noise. So what we're going to use is a field because then we can use a, um, a, a random shader. So let's go to our fields and we're going to bring in a random field and what we're going to do is set this to, well if I hit play this will just be the default Perlin noise and you can see look yep the particles have been mapped to that noise with black and white values but we want something more interesting let's just try maybe a Luca let's put the scale up to 800 give it some animation speed of maybe 40. Now if we hit play, yeah, so now we've got this cool animated noise. Okay, that's the first step, excellent. So now what we want to do is we want, uh, if I hit render actually you can see this working, all of the black ones are going to be transparent and all of the white ones are going to be opaque. All right, that's good. So now what we want to do is we need to adjust this, obviously. We want, when all the particles are born, we want them to be black and we want them to go white over time to reveal themselves. So what we're going to do, let's just copy this gradient by parameter layer, put it above. This one, we want this to be based on the particle age. So when they're born, they're black and they go white over time. And we want them to go white quite quickly. We just want them black when they're first born and then go to white pretty quickly. And then what we want to do is multiply this with that noise. So wherever our age particles are black, it'll multiply the noise by zero so it'll stay black and they'll gradually go white. And the result of that is they're born black and then they start revealing that noise. Cool. And this isn't right yet, but if you look at this section, this is what we want. This animated black to white with noise. But the problem is we want these external areas here to be all be white. And that would mean that they would all be uh, have full opacity and we would be able to see them. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to do one more layer. We're going to get this age layer, put it on top. And this time, we're going to set the blend mode to add. So wherever this is white, it's going to add it to our particles. Where it's black, it's not going to add anything. Um, so this should work. We may need to adjust the gradient, but let's just hit play. Okay, so we can see it. There's a little bit of noise animation there. But we'd actually like to introduce a little bit more noise. So what we can do on our top layer, the add layer, let's move this out a bit which is going to reveal a little bit more of that noise. We can move the black up a bit as well. 
yeah look you can see we've started to bring in that noise that's looking really cool and now we've got with those three layers that effect that we want we have got them black when they're born and as they um, get older they fade in but that fade point is obviously changing because of our animated noise excellent so that's the first problem sorted um, the second problem is that we have if we hit play here and start rendering we've got the full emission of particles and as they're coming out it almost looks like a flower petal forming doesn't it which is not what we want we need this to be more random so we can fade in this emission by let's go to our emitter emission tab and we can fade in this birth rate so let's pull down this look we've got a birth rate spline and what this is saying is the timeline frames are along the bottom so beginning of the timeline end and then this birth rate is on the y and by default this is just at the top which means that for the whole timeline it's got a birth rate of 2000 we want them to start with no birth rate amount and ramp up to full pretty quickly and if we hit play let's just stop that rendering you'll see that right at the beginning look there's fewer particles and as the timeline goes on we then get to that full birth rate amount and it just means that we get much more of a fade in at that beginning point yeah that's looking much better and the final thing we can do if we move this forward to the point where our particles start dying they're all dying off at the same time and it's looking a bit weird as they disappear so let's go to our lifespan and add maybe 25 frames of variation and that is going to smooth out that transition very cool all right so what i'm going to do now now we have got this look and it's looking good we want to get a production level of particles in here so i'm going to go to my emission i'm going to change this birth rate to maybe fifty thousand particles per frame we're going to cache this render it out and we'll have a look at those results here we are in the picture viewer then and here is our render and this is looking really nice i'm always amazed just how brilliant we can get uh, the detail just using one voronoise in our nx turbulence that looks cool but what we're really looking at here is our emission point here and we've managed to get a really good random noisy fade in if you just dolly in a little bit we can really see that happening and that is working brilliantly for us it looks way more natural and obviously in keeping with the kind of the turbulent nature of the simulation let's just pause it i've just rendered out one frame without our animated noise driving that opacity and if we click on that obviously you can see this ridiculously um, uniform emission point and that clearly doesn't sit in keeping with the rest of the sim so that is how we can use the nexus color modifier to drive and layer up these nice noisy coloring effects so we can fade in emission points to make them feel random and also animate them